Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the platform where we journey through time, unraveling the profound narratives and lessons embedded in our shared past. Today, we delve deeper into the biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah, a tale that transcends time and continues to resonate with us today. The narrative of Sodom and Gomorrah is more than just a tale from antiquity. It serves as a reflection of the human condition, a mirror held up to our society, and a call to introspection. These cities, once prosperous and thriving, were steeped in sin. Their transgressions were so grave that they reached the heavens, prompting divine intervention. This intervention was not a mere act of punishment, but a response to the outcry against their sins, a testament to the divine commitment to justice. Sodom and Gomorrah, known for their sins, were destroyed by sulfur and fire according to the biblical book of Genesis. These cities, along with Adma, Zeboim, and Zor, Bela, are referenced in the Old and New Testament and the Quran. In both the Genesis and Quran accounts, Abraham pleads for the lives of any righteous people in these cities, particularly his nephew Lot and his family. Despite Abraham's pleas, the cities are destroyed due to their grave sins. In stark contrast to the city's moral corruption, we find the figure of Abraham, a beacon of hope and righteousness. His intercession for the cities underscores the power of compassion and the potential for change, even in the face of overwhelming wickedness. Abraham's plea to God to spare the cities if there were righteous people within them highlights the importance of individual righteousness in the face of collective sin. God's promise to Abraham was a testament to divine mercy and justice. It was a promise of future change, a reassurance that no sin goes unnoticed, and no good deed is forgotten. This promise serves as a reminder of the divine commitment to justice and the belief in the potential for human redemption. The story also emphasizes the concept of group identity and collective consequences. The actions of a few can impact many, leading to complex wrongdoings that escalate and multiply, tainting the entire community. This aspect of the story invites us to reflect on our collective responsibility and the impact of our actions on our community. The visit of the angels to Lot and his hospitality towards them highlights the importance of kindness and empathy. Despite the prevailing immorality, Lot's actions serve as a reminder that goodness can be found even in the most unlikely places. His willingness to protect his guests at the risk of his own safety underscores the value of hospitality and selflessness. The divine intervention that follows, where the angels protect Lot and his family, signals the start of a dramatic escape from destruction. The urgency of their departure underscores the imminent divine judgment about to befall the cities. This part of the story serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of persistent sin. As the destruction unfolds, we are confronted with the stark reality of divine judgment. The archaeological evidence of the city's existence serves as a tangible reminder of the consequences of sin. This evidence, coupled with the narrative, provides a sobering reminder of the destructive potential of unchecked sin. The moral implications of this story are profound. It invites us to reflect on our actions and values, to consider the impact of our deeds on our community, and to strive for ethical living. It challenges us to examine our own lives and societies, to identify our shortcomings, and to commit to personal and collective improvement. Drawing parallels with modern society, the story warns us of the dangers of moral decline. It urges us to maintain spiritual awareness, to heed the warnings of history, and to learn from the past. It serves as a reminder that history often repeats itself, and that we must strive to learn from our past to avoid repeating the same mistakes. The nature of these sins has been debated. Traditionally, they have been associated with homosexual acts. However, modern interpretations, particularly in Judaism and certain branches of Christianity, suggest that the sin was a lack of hospitality. In Islam, homosexuality is traditionally seen as the sin, but some modern interpretations question this. Historically, Sodom and Gomorrah are possibly located under or adjacent to the shallow waters south of Al-Lizan in the Dead Sea in Israel. They were presumably devastated around 1900 BCE by an earthquake. Archaeological evidence suggests the area was once fertile, supporting agriculture. The present-day industrial site of Sedum, Israel, on the Dead Sea shore, is near the presumed site of Sodom and Gomorrah. In conclusion, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of morality in society. It calls us to reflect, to learn, and to strive for a better, more ethical world. It is a call to action, a call to uphold justice, and a call to practice compassion and kindness. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the annals of history. Stay tuned to Celestial Chronicles for more explorations into our shared past. Remember, the past is not just history, 
but a guide to the present and a beacon for the future. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing. Together, let's strive to create a better, more compassionate world.